Initiates, and welcome to Module 1 of the Illumicorp Video Training Course. I would like to officially welcome you as a member of the team. You've joined our organization at perhaps the most exciting point in our long history. Our founders shared a passionate dream to transform this country and eventually the whole world into one cohesive organization. When Lumicorp finishes gaining centralized control of the resources of the planet, and we will, we can then organize, distribute, and govern for the benefit of all. After competition and dissent are eliminated, we will build a utopia for the people of the world to share based on need and rejoice together in a harmonious new world. This presentation is designed to enlighten you about our organization's goals and achievements. As your guide, I will help to answer some basic questions you might have about Lumicorp and familiarize you with the valuable role you will play in helping us reach our prime objective. So please, take a tour with me as we march together towards an exciting new world. All people are aware of class. To them, society is made up of the rich, the middle, and the poor. The one thing that all three classes don't understand is that the pyramid continues upward. There is a detached, hidden capstone made up of an elite board of directors who own and manage Illumicorp. The three classes below, in essence, become the assets and resources of Illumicorp. Illumicorp is divided into various administrative branches, but each branch has the same five levels in their hierarchy. You will begin at the bottom, in the initiate category. As such, your role will be to make sure that your orders are carried out through the subcorporations and institutions controlled by Illumicorp. You will be placed in plain sight, at the head of a company or institution in the public sector, to carry out the plans delivered from above. Remember. Your role is very important. You will be the face of Illumicorp to the outside world. You are our connection to the masses below. Never speak publicly about your orders or your masters. Now let's look at Illumicorp's six administrative branches and their functions. You will be placed in a top position of power among one of the following sectors. In this way, as you are monitored and guided from above, you will decide strategy and introduce programs that further our goals. But that is the secret to Lumicorp's success. Control the head, and you control the body. This is potentially Lumicorp's most effective instrument for global control. Through international banking, we manipulate the fate of all countries we have introduced many institutions, such as the IMF and WTO, that work in our favor to impoverish disobedient nations. Always remember, debt is a powerful weapon against countries that don't share Lumicorp's vision. Perhaps our greatest achievement in banking is the Federal Reserve System. It is a collection of international banks owned by Lumicorp members and financiers. It was created to form a centralized banking system the Federal Reserve Act of 1913, 
an act that was indeed penned by some of our most esteemed members. Many of you might still assume that the government itself prints and issues the currency. That is not the case. When America needs money, they go to our boys and ask for it. The money is printed, but it is only representative of a loan. Interest accrues on that dollar until it is paid back to the Fed. In fact, the federal taxes paid by the American population go almost entirely to paying off this debt. So you see, Illumicorp derives a healthy amount of its operation funding directly from the debt of the public. Needless to say, this is one of our most crucial sources of funding and one of our proudest achievements here at Illumicorp. Through mergers and acquisitions, we have slowly and silently bought up the majority of U.S. industry. Illumicorp and its members own most of the oil, transport, banking, media, food and communications industries in America and abroad. Through fewer and fewer conglomerates, we are able to affect with great precision the machinations of labor and government. Ultimately, corporations will replace government as a centralized international body that can meet the needs of the public worldwide without the chaos created by national self-interest. When Illumicorp goes public, corporatism will be the foundation for world government. Conglomerates will merge into one cohesive corporation that is responsible only to Illumicorp and the needs of its global employment force. Illumicorp's control of the American military is another impressive tool in our possession. We have nurtured these institutions lavishly to serve as the prototype for our global police force. When ready, our technology and manpower will dominate those who oppose the coming new world order. By utilizing American patriotism, we have fostered in the American soldier the philosophy of peace through superior force. When the time is right, we will migrate that mentality towards the belief in a global government who must protect all people through superior force. We have used the American military industrial complex to build the arsenal necessary to instigate the final cleansing outlined in Illumicorp's great plan. Our primary target will be Islamic nations who will never submit to our Western-centric domination. They also hold much of the remaining oil reserve of the planet. Illumicorp must own that precious resource as it is crucial in maintaining our domination over the countries of the world. Through Illumicorp's enormous federal funding of the military, we can develop new forms of warfare and population reduction. The public can't imagine what we were in the process of developing. Soon, even the weather will be a weapon under our control. We will be able to create droughts, floods, hurricanes, and even tsunamis with no fingerprints attached. The political system of America has been under direct control of Illumicorp for some time. It was actually a relatively easy acquisition and has been even easier to manage. Politicians know of our unspoken agreement and will do anything to stay in power. A two-party system benefits Illumicorp in that it reduces all issues into a black and white debate. Through media we can play side against side using each when necessary to support our goals. Due to a diminishing faith in the system among the public, Illumicorp has designed a rogue candidate program to provide a voice for the dispossessed. This disperses the impetus for dissent among those who do not feel represented by our candidates and builds a database of potential dissidents.